Hey guys, you're getting an unintended EDC update today. I did not intend on shooting this EDC update, but there was something I need to tell you guys, so this is going to be an EDC update slash channel update, and I'll have the bit of a channel update here at the end, but <clears throat> that's basically the reason I'm shooting this video, to get that out. Uh, not much has changed in the way of EDC, but enough that I feel safe making this EDC update. Um, and I'll tell you why at the end, what, what the big announcement is. Uh, still the same wallet. Uh, though I've taken a lot of the cards out because a lot of the cards were adding bulk that I didn't need. I've taken a lot of the cards out that I figured that I used them so rarely that if I was going to go to a store that required them, I could just throw them in there. And that really helped with, because uh, this wallet used to be quite fat and it used to be a pain to sit on. Uh, you start to feel it after a while. And I've actually gotten quite a bit of compliments on, the, on this wallet. I didn't I didn't realize that it was uh, that nice wallet. But I suppose it is. It's just a Covington leather wallet. Uh, genuine leather. I got it for a uh, birthday many, many years ago. I think it was uh, $25. So I think the price tag's still in there. But uh, genuine leather. I like it. It's been, it's been great for me. It feels like a real man's wallet. Anyway, and, and there's no money in here. Because, uh, again, I, I do most of my stuff on, on cards. But I, I'll keep a dollar or so in there every every so often. Uh, big change now is uh, the knife. In my last EDC video, I mentioned that I was trying to get out of the Tenacious. Though it had been a fabulous spider coat, it really got me turned on to the brand. Uh, I wanted to go up to the uh, the Endura or the Delica or the Native, something in that price range. Excuse me. Um, and I decided on the P Pacific Salt. And let me tell you why I decided on the Pacific Salt. Big deciding factor. Blacked out blade. You do not see blacked out blades very often on the spider coes. Actually, it's very rare to see a blacked out blade on a spider co. But got the blacked out blade. It's got the gold uh, laser etching of the H1 steel there, and it's it's a fantastic slicer. It has some good points and some bad points compared to the Tenacious. But when I get to my review, I will talk about that. But there's the Pacific Salt. That's the new knife I'm carrying. Uh, new, the flashlight I mentioned in my last EDC video was the Phoenix LD20. I moved up from the Streamlight Stylus Pro. And in here, well, it's actually not in here right now. They're in the camera. But, uh, <clears throat> Duracell rechargeable NIMH batteries. Um, that's what's in here. Those are the rechargeable batteries, so I don't have to spend money on double A's. And I, I used alkalines in here that, that didn't, weren't fully charged, but they weren't, they weren't dead. They, they were definitely were not dead. It didn't function properly. With with some of these lights, these LEDs, the powerful LEDs, again, this is 180 lumen LED here. With some of them, if you put regular alkalines in there, it won't function as you wanted it to, to do uh, <clears throat> voltage differentials. Uh, the, the alkaline batteries, I believe, have a little less voltage. I think that's the way it goes. Uh, I may be wrong there, but there's voltage differentials, and when you use the rechargeables, you're all set. So that's just what I use now. <clears throat> And it saves me money, of course. Okay, uh, because it's becoming summer, the multi-tool, the Leatherman Wave, I'm carrying a lot less. But if I know that there's going to be something that I absolutely am going to need it, I'll throw it on. Or if I'm going to the range, it's always good to have the multi-tool at the range. The firing range, of course. Okay, moving on now. New Zippo. And the reason you're not here, you haven't heard about this before in any sort of update is because of why I need to do this channel update here. Um, this is the Zeppo Bolted Armor. I have a whole video on this, so I'm not going to go over it right now, but I'll, I'll just bear with me a second. I'll tell you about that in a second. And the keys, pretty much the same. The last time I forgot to mention in my EDC, I'm also carrying the Leatherman Squirt PS4. I edited this as an annotation in my last video. Uh, the Leatherman Squirt PS4, <clears throat> and whoops, that's why I don't need to carry the full-size multi-tool all the time. This gets a lot of my basic tasks done. I'm just held on there with a little bit of paracord. So, a little bit of fake paracord. This is that crap that they sold me as real when it's in fact fake. Anyway, so, the channel update that needs to be done about this guy right here. Uh, no, it's, I'm not going to pull a cutlery lever and stop collecting knives, even though my name is Cutlery Lever. I'm not, gonna, I'm not done with Zippos or anything like that. What I am done with is uh, windows. Uh, not the kind of windows that you can uh, throw a fastball through. The kind of windows that is an operating system. Okay, now I have my degree in computer information systems, so I know a thing or two about computers. I'm not going to say I'm an expert. I'm just saying that I'm, I'm not naive with these things. And I've used all three operating systems. I've used Windows, Linux, and uh, Mac, which is actually Unix-based, but they're different enough that everybody considers the main three operating systems, Windows, Linux, and <clears throat> Mac. So uh, basically what happened was my laptop that I used to edit all these videos with, I was just using it one night, and I saw a puff of smoke fly out of the fan. And that's never a good sign. 
So I took the laptop all apart, I took the fan all apart, and I pulled out a big, about four inch long hair snake in there. We have dogs at our house, so uh, over the years it had filled up. And that's not Windows' fault, I understand that's not Windows' fault, but I think as that, that computer shows that it's on its way out, um, I think that I need to upgrade for this reason here. The, the, the nail in the coffin was this. Not this lighter, but I, I made a two-part video, almost about 20 minutes long, a very detailed video about unboxing a Zippo. Tips that most people might already know, but helpful tips for, that I see, like taking the stickers off, whether you should do it, all that kind of stuff, and I thought I would make a video on this, an unboxing video. And it was quite detailed, but it did come out. I need to make a jump cut because I got interrupted. Um, it was I either got a phone call or somebody walked in the room. I had to make a jump cut, so I ended up with two MOV files. And that's simple enough. I just wanted to uh, splice them together. However, this is where Windows gives me the problem. For other videos, I have spliced them together and I have edited them. You'll notice if you know, if you take a look at my Luminox uh, Steel Seal video 6312 that I actually have a little bit editing, editing there from Windows Live Movie Maker. Okay? That is the only time I have ever been able to edit a video in Windows Live Movie Maker. Every single other time I try to, what happens is, and by the way, I'm just picking stuff up so you guys have a visual rep representation or something uh, something to look at while I'm because I know I'm going a bit long here. So, yeah, basically that's it for the EDC update. This is for anybody who's interested in my other videos from my channel. Um, basically what I uh, what I uh, had uh, that was the only, what I was saying is that's the only time I've been able to edit a video with Windows Live Movie Maker. Now, all I want to do is splice two MOVs together, okay? And I used to have a program that would do that just fine. Now, whenever I do it using Windows Live Movie Maker or anything, I keep getting the program has stopped working. Errors, errors, errors. And it worked fine like a week ago. It's it's getting a very annoying. And I know for a fact that there's a uh, that with Mac. I have a lot better chance of that not happening. Now, before anybody suggests about uh, programs that I can use to join two MOV files or anything like that, I don't want to hear it for this simple reason. I, I understand how to install, download and install to a program that can splice two MOV files. The thing is, I've downloaded probably 10 programs in the last, I don't know, month or so to do simple things like this, simple video editing or splicing two videos on Windows, and either it's a trial or just, and what usually happens with this old computer is it'll say it stopped working and it's looking for a resolution, and it's just become a royal, royal pain. Um, so I think it's time to move up. So this Friday I'm going to get an iMac, I'm going to be ordering an iMac. And put it this way, my, my laptop right now has a, a 1.8 gigahertz uh, AMD Turon dual core processor. 1.8 gigahertz, not that great. It has 2 gigs of RAM running Windows 7. Again, that's, that's way outdated. So, as such, I am going to be upgrading to an iMac here this Friday. And by Saturday or Sunday, I might even pay for Sunday delivery on Amazon, I should have the new iMac and I'll be able to at least show you this video of this unboxing and, and more about this lighter because this is definitely a beautiful lighter, a beautiful Zippo, the Zippo bolted armor. Uh, so yeah, going to be upgrading to an iMac. So what basically what I'm telling you this is don't miss out, <laughs> don't be missing me uh, if I don't load a, upload another video for the next week or so. I, it's been a while now and now you know why. I had a video shot but I couldn't upload it. Oh, by the way, while we're here I just noticed if we're going to talk about EDC, can't forget about this. Uh, watches again the Omega Seamaster Professional. And okay, so that's been the channel update, a long winded EDC update, whatever you want to call it. I hope I didn't bore anybody. If you're still watching, that's great. A plus to you. You should get some sort of an award for that. Uh, so again, be watching for a video about my new computer and definitely be watching about a video f about this beautiful armor, Zippo Bolton armor lighter when I get the iMac. So thanks for watching. Now all the fanboys can go uh, if Linux, Windows, or Mac is better in the comments. And you guys have yourself a great day.